What's going on, guys? In this video, I want to talk all about facial expressions when bone breaking, and when's the proper time to use certain facial expressions, and this may sound a little crazy for some of you guys, but this is actually really important, um, and it can save you some embarrassment and things in a battle or a competition, and there's so much to do with it, it's kind of hard to explain without actually like going f through and fully telling you guys uh, specific examples, so stick around and I'll I'll explain it all. In general, facial expressions are used almost like an unspoken language. By looking at someone's face and the way that it's like acting, whether it's like pain, fear, awe, different things, you can almost make the viewer or whoever you're like watching, that you can make them feel the way that you're feeling. So bone breaking, just like many other dance styles and different styles of pretty much anything, it's an art that's shown through your body. And so facial expressions come into a lot of different ways in bone breaking. A lot of times the most common ones are like a surprise, um, pain, like ah, um, you get uh, different things just like confidence just and a bunch of different things in the middle of different situations so I want to go through the right time and place to do facial expressions so what I'm saying is pretty much if you go to say a small uh, talent competition or if you go to a straight turfing uh, battle and things like that where some facial expressions you're not going to want to use while other ones you're gonna want to use. So I'm gonna go and start explaining all of that to you. All right guys, so I'm gonna start by talking about a small competition for let's say a talent search, like I said before. So in a talent competition, you're normally gonna have all different types of acts. Or say you're going to just a talent show for a school or something, anything really, or this also fits into the category of you're putting on a show, you got hired for a birthday party or something like that. So when you're there, like I said, there's lots of different acts, there's lots of different people, they don't know as much about dance. So when you do a bone break, say for example, for the dead arm, I'm gonna do this. In this situation, I can make it look like I'm in pain. People that don't know about dance, they're seeing you move your arms and dislocate them in really different ways that they've never seen before. So a lot of times they'll associate it like with, oh, that's disgusting, or like, oh, that's like, it looks painful. So in a small type competition or anything I mentioned before, when you go to do a bone break, if you go and you, like as if it hurts, that's the perfect time to do it. Like I said, people are gonna think that that's what it feels like anyways. You don't want to do the like pain face though for every single bone break you do because after a while they're going to kind of get used to the bone breaks and see that it isn't actually hurting. So what you want to then do is switch it up to a different thing. So maybe say you're going, you're doing like an illusion type move. So as you're going and spinning your arm, maybe now here's where you're doing amazement or awe. You're like, oh, like as you're going like, oh. and you're giving the like reaction like, oh, this is amazing. So now you're switching it up a little more. You can also just show that you're having a good time. So as you're bone breaking or doing any of your dance, no matter what it is, you can just smile and keep a, a good positive attitude, especially if you are if you got paid to like go and do a show. You wanna show you're having fun, have the energy flowing, things like that. So that's for those types of competitions and stuff. Now let's say you're going and like I mentioned before, you're in a turfing battle or a dance battle that involves a lot of bone breaking and things like that. Now you're not going to get away with actually going and showing a pain face because a lot of people are going to know that like it doesn't actually hurt. They're all doing it. So it's just like you're, show, you're, you're showing, you're, you're pouring water into the ocean. Like it already is water and like here, more of it. So pretty much what you're gonna do for say you're in a competition or a battle, a lot of times you wanna have that more confident look. You're going, you're doing bone breaks and you're, you're going and doing combos and you wanna look confident while doing it. So maybe keep a straight face, just like. 
or like a serious look. I kind of at the end I was showing more of a serious look. So you can do that as well to show like, oh, if you're competing against someone, battling against them, you want to show you're confident. Like you don't even care what they're doing because you know what you're doing is better. And again, you're battling, so you can definitely have fun, you can smile, do all those different things where you just, you feel good, you want to get the crowd involved, you want to get energy flowing. So definitely make sure you look confident, make sure you're smiling, and doing things like that. And then again, serious. Say you're going right up to the guy you're battling and you're doing all this stuff. Look serious. You want to show that even though you're having fun, this is a battle, we're still going to pay attention and things like that. I'm looking at you, you're the person who needs to concentrate on me the most. And that's overall what the facial expressions for a battle should be. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and hit the bell to get notified anytime I put a new video out. Share it with your friends, let them know what they're doing wrong or right, you never know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.